And Marshall football is now back at 500 after defeating conference rival Old Dominion. And as 13 Sports Zone's Jake Siegel tells us, a victory over Lane Kiffin's FAU Owls can offer this squad more than just a winning record. For the second time this season, Marshall football will play on a short week. The last time the herd did so, they fell to then 25th ranked Boise State on the road by a touchdown. But a lot has changed since week number two. And this Friday night against FAU, Marshall hopes to have continued success in the Sunshine State, a place where head coach Doc Holliday is 12 and 3 overall since the start of the 2013 season. Number one, it's a conference game, you know, number one. And you got a lot of Florida guys, they time to get the opportunity to go home and play in front of their friends and family. They, they, they like doing that, so I'm sure they're excited to get down to Florida and see their family and family get a chance to see them play. If the herd play like they did last Saturday, a win over conference rival FAU could be likely. With nearly 30% of the team's roster from the state of Florida, it offers a homecoming to many of the players. People from Florida have friends from Florida everywhere, so you know as you go down there and play other schools from Florida and teams like that, we're able to compete, you know, see our friends and, you know, just make it a big game. It's a home feeling, you know, everybody being from there. More, you, know, you know, the majority of the team being from there, you know, they're comfortable. It, it is a home game uh, for these guys. And uh, so, yeah, they, a lot of their families don't get to come up here and watch that many games throughout the year because, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a long trip, but it's good for our team to get that back down there to Florida. A lot of our guys know that and know those guys too. So, you know, I think that, that also plays a role in, I guess, when they have bragging rights over there, over their friends and stuff like that. So the herd will look to turn up the heat against the Owls on Friday night in Florida. And right now, kickoff temps in Boca Raton are set for the upper 80s, which has been quite a change compared to what Marshall has seen over the past three weeks. Reporting in Huntington with the herd, Jake Siegel, News 13 Sports. Thanks, Jake. And a reminder, we will have much more countdown to kickoff coverage all week long as Marshall faces Florida Atlantic.